Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 12th CSS animation tutorial and in this video we're going to go through another example where we're going to add an animation to a shopping cart on a website. Alright then dog, so I've gone ahead and opened up this web examples folder again and now I'm working in this basket.html file. Uh, it's the same style CSS which we'll go through in a second and on your right you're going to see this absolutely snazzy sports clothing website. Uh, possibly the best one I've ever seen and we've got all these cool sports tops listed from top to bottom left to right and uh, you'll notice in this page right here I've linked up jQuery and that's because we're going to attach a little click event to these buttons right so down here you can see we've got this UL with a class of product and each one of these li tags within it has an image h2 and a button so we're going to attach that click event to the button and I've already done that down here you can see we're saying when we click on one of these buttons then I want you to grab this, and that's the button, and then get the closest li, which is this thing above it. Then find the image within that, which is there, and we're going to clone that image. So it's going to create a new image element for us whenever we click on one of these um, items, these buttons, right? So it's going to clone the image above it. So once we've cloned it, we're going to add a class of zoom to it, and we're going to use that class to animate it later on. And then once we've added that class, we want to append that element to the body tag. So it's just going to appear at the bottom here. So when we click on one of these, it's going to duplicate this image and then it's going to drop it at the bottom of the body tag. Right. And then once we've done that, we're going to use a set timeout to remove this extra image that we've just added on after 1000 milliseconds or one second. Right. So it's just there briefly. So I can show you that if I click add to basket, you're going to see that image appear for one second, then go. Add to basket and it goes all right so what we're going to do is animate that thing right there that appears so that it zooms across here at the top and it looks like it's going into your basket so let's do that let's go over to the styles these are the base styles right here basket base styles that are just kind of styling this layout right here nothing special going on whatsoever and then down here is where we're going to add our animation styles so remember, when we added the new element, when we click on one of these and we add that new element to the body, we gave it a class of zoom. So that's what we want to target right here. And that's what we want to animate. So first of all, let's say zoom, right? And I'm going to give this a position of absolute, first of all, just so we can position it at the top of the page. And we're going to say top 40 pixels. So it's not exactly right at the top. And then from the right, we'll say about 50%. So it's going to appear round about here in the middle of the page. 40 pixels from the top, 50% from the right. And uh, then what I want to do is give it a width of about 40 pixels, nothing too big. So it's just like a little thumbnail of the image. And uh, I'm going to start it off with an opacity of zero. In fact, I'm going to leave that out for now. We'll add that in shortly when we do the animation. So now if I add one of these, you'll notice it go up here at the top. Yeah. And that's because of these styles right here. So what we want to do now is when we click on one of these, we want to animate this zoom um, element, this image right at the top going to the basket. So let's go ahead and do that. We need to create our keyframes. So we'll say keyframes and then we'll call this zoom. And then what we're going to say is at 0%, we're going to have an opacity of zero, right? Then what we're going to do is say at 100, no, in fact, at 50%, halfway through, we're going to have an opacity of 1. So it's going to gradually fade in until halfway, and it's going to be fully visible as it scoots along, right? And then at the end, at 100%, first of all, we want it to fade back out again, right? And we'll just preview this so far. So what it's going to do, oops, we want it to be 0. What it's going to do is fade in, then fade out. Right, it's zero to begin with, fades into one, then fades out. And we can now get rid of that thing so it's zero to begin with by default anyway. Refresh this and now just watch, it's going to fade in and fade out. No, it's not because we've not applied the animation to this. <laughs> okay, so let's apply the animation right here. We'll say animation zoom, uh, about one second, ease and forwards. Okay, we know all this stuff. If you're uh, unsure what this is, you might want to go back and refresh yourself on the previous tutorials. Then we'll refresh this and now you can see it fade in and fade out. So we've got the fade in effect we want. Now we just want to zoom it over to the right. So it's starting right here at this position. So we don't need to add anything at the start. All we need to do is add in properties at the end. So we'll just say right 
and we want it to go about 40 pixels from the right so it ends up around here which is 40 pixels from the right of the screen yeah so we've got this animation going on this zoom animation which takes one second we're giving it the ease timing function so it looks a little more natural and we're saying forward so that it remains at the end it doesn't kind of pop back to the beginning when it's finished so let's save this right now and see what it does if I click on one of these now you're gonna see it fade in fade out and zoom across at the top so whenever we click on one of these it grabs that image clones it does this little animation at the top to make it look like we're dropping it in the back end, which is pretty neat I think just a nice little subtle effect if you've got an online shop and you can do all sorts of crazy stuff with this you don't have to do it at the top like this you could work out a way to have it zoom from your image or you know from the top and drop into the image then maybe have your, your basket wiggle a little bit or something like that you can get really creative with these kind of things but this is a nice little simple example which doesn't take too much work if I'm honest and uh, yeah does the job pretty nicely so if you have any questions feel free to leave those down below otherwise guys I'm gonna see you in the very next tutorial